For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction me measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So basically what you have to do is uh, break down each of these two forces into the x and y components, add them up together and then convert it into a polar form. Now notice that the second force, this force right here, is going this way, not this way. Okay, so it's going towards the left and up towards the origin. So F1, we're going to break it down into an X and a Y component. So <coughs> F1 is equal to, actually, let me do it this way, FRX, I'm going to put all the components in the X, which will be this F1 component and this F2 component. So FRX is equal to F1 which is 200 cosine of 45 degrees because if this is 45 degrees this is 45 degrees as well and the cos and if you multiply this 200 by the cosine of 45 you get the X component and it's going towards the positive X minus 150 cosine of 30 degrees because this one's going towards the negative x-axis so this gives you 11.52 newtons so they're basically almost cancelling out now the resultant force on the y components we're gonna <coughs> Add the y component of F1, this is F1y, and this is the y component of F2. They're both going up, so they're gonna add up, they're gonna they're not gonna cancel each other out. To calculate those, you do 200 sine of uh, 45 degrees, plus because they're both going on the positive y direction, 150 sine of 30 degrees. So when you add these two together, you're going to get 216.42. To calculate the magnitude of the resultant force, you're going to square them, square, and square root the result. And this is going to give you 216.73 newtons. This is also newtons. And to find the angle that the resultant for, uh, force forms, you're going to do the tangent inverse of the y component, which is 216.42, over the x component, which is 11.52. And when you do this, you're going to get that it is 86.95 degrees. So the final answer is going to be FR is equal to 216.73 at an angle of 86.95. Final answer.